<laughs> I'm sorry. Did I interrupt your uh, your meditation there, sir? I really thought you'd take the elevator. I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 375 years old tomorrow. That's weird. That's strange. What's this say? Our long ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. The soft ones. We are the soft ones. They ain't kidding. Ugh. All right. Cool. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. This is so unique and interesting. I love it. Hello. Nice, nice hair do you have there, Karen? Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. A blue sky. Ha! I'll write a song about that one day. Alright. I collect things. I bring it to him. Just say no cats. Watch out for cats. We gotta get upstairs and go talk to our cat friend. Or our, our man Momo. Super 100% spirit power. Let me in, please. Excuse me. Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of all of your fucking mess. Wow, calm down, dude. Chill out, bro. I'm gonna break into your house. That's what I'm gonna do. Meow. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Ready? 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 Ha ha! I've scared you! I've scared you with my mighty roar! Which got you to open your door and be pissed. I love that, that that's like a puzzle. So, he dropped it, and now can I go back down and go open that door? Oh, yeah, clean that shit up, bro. What if I step in it? Oh my god. It, oh my god, there are little tiny footsteps. There are little paint footsteps. I'm gonna track it inside into your house if you don't mind. Sorry, sir. We're inside. Inside the super spirit. Take the detergent. I took the detergent. Now it's like a point and click adventure game. It's like. What do you use the detergent on to make the other stuff happen? Hmm. I've got detergent now. I was so excited when I discovered the little footprints. I know, right? It's like you, don't go in there, cat. You, it won't end well for you. All right, is that all I needed? Was the little, uh, little detergent? Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Translate. Bartman. Barterman. Alright, I need to go talk to somebody. Oh, hello. So if today is, is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft ones, ancestors. We are trapped here forever. That's fine. It sounds cool. Why? Yes, yes, go cat. Yes! You have except you got soda or energy drink or something. Does it make me jump further? Uh, oh, hello. Hello there, Mr. Newsy. Hey, you. Hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Detergent? I bet some people would pay a lot for a full spirit, soap spirit bottle. Yeah? Alright. What can I show you? Yeah, I mean, this really is like point and click adventure. You know, like, show him this item. Oh, that's a sensitive subject around here. There's some whose code can 
understand wait there are some whose code can understand that concept there are ones who know about the outside but are too resigned to do anything and then there's the outsiders you can imagine how they feel well there's only momo now we gotta go find momo we gotta go find momo bro near the orange sign this is where momo lives excuse me let me fuck up all your things first knock those off excuse me not that this is a problem or anything oh i can nap kitty cat nap oh look at me sleep ah there you go this probably you know guys I i'm sorry i wish i could play the rest of the game but there's a cat taking a nap here and i don't know if i'm capable of um moving him um, it just keeps zooming out of this cat all right we're going back we're back in. We're waking up from our cat nap. All right. Yeah. Ooh, big stretch. Big stretch. All right. Let's go talk to this Momo man or guy or person or girl. I don't really know. Nobody. No. Is there gender anymore? Nobody understands. Ah, uh, uh, cat. Don't you fall. Um. Gotta get up there. That's not going to help. Hmm. I love how this cat just like understands the goal. Ventilation. Haha, <laughs> I broke your I broke your ventilation. Do something about it, punk. Can't go over there. All right. Here? No. Broke your ventilation. I don't know what good that did, but I did it. Don't take him to the office. You'll probably lose him. I'll probably give him to somebody else. Or somebody else will take him and I'll never get him back. That's what'll happen. Alright. How do I... Hello. Meow. Oh no, not again. Mojito. Is your name Mojito? Your drinks are delicious. Here we go. Starting to look more promising. There it is. Momo! Look at that. Look at that man dressed like an outsider. He's ready to go. Don't hit TVs. That's basically like, I don't know, abusing your spouse. You can't do that. I think he might be married to that TV. I don't fucking know. You guys having a domestic dispute? It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, what do you want? Is this a picture of the outside? Do you want to go there? Do you want to go outside? You want to go outside, kitty cat? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that fucking receiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research, but the outside about the outside. Here, take mine. Thank you. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. No, you can't you can't give up. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friend. Thank you for the observations. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. Are those those little things? Finally, a little love for the felines. Evening. It says Tom to Cat. Hey, Tommy. Yeah. Meow, meow. Quack, quack. We can all work together. Ducks and cats living together. Raining out of the sky. Mass hysteria. Really. I signed. It is signed Clementine. Zalp the Bob. Zalp. Zalp. Zabalthar. Zabalthazar. Doc and Momo. I think we should find the other notebooks. Translate. Outsiders. We were the outsiders, and then we gave up. Aw, oh, poor Momo. He, we gotta bring him back, man. Translate. The city is a cylindrical shape. About 450 uh, meters in diameter. This is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Believe those books. Believe. Momo, we're getting you out of here. We're not going to leave you behind. Come on, Momo. 
Yeah, yeah let's uh, let's turn that off. The cat has has different tastes. I like to listen to dinky dink music when I do this. I got an achievement called a little chatty. Thanks. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's pretty great. The controls are all warped and backwards because I have a cat a bag on my head. Help. <laughs> the, the controls are all backwards. Oh, it's great. I love that this game just inspires you to like fuck around half of the time. It's pretty great. What platforms is this game available on? Well, I know it's on Steam and I know it's on PS5 because they showed it at like a PS5 event, but I'm not really sure. Back to home. Digitize that. Do it. I remember this video game. Back home to. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. I can remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? I got a memory. I got a memory from Robot Friend. And there's that concept art that everyone really likes. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? I bet someone would pay a full price for this. No thanks, I'm not thirsty. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the outsiders, but I'm also the last remaining one. It's okay, friend. We'll find hope. But first. Yeah, fuck your walls, dude. Fuck your walls, you're an immortal robot. Fuck you, you can fix it, you can buy another one. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see how long they'll stay there. Do they disappear eventually? I don't know. Hmm. I can go in here and sneak around. Up on the box, up on a box. Take music sheet. <gasps> I can go give that to the music robot. I wanna go give it to the music robot. Run, 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 run. Momo is not very helpful. Sorry, Momo. You're a cool dude, but... Oh. Your walls are no good to me. Translate, what's that? Earth! Earth is the third planet from the sun, the fifth largest in the solar system by its mass and, diam mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to the radiometric data, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the moon. The gravita Thank you, I know, what the, I know what Earth is, but then again, I'm a cat, so maybe I don't. The symbols on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh, I must figure out more. Seems like a lead. All right, we're off. We're off on our cat mystery. Whee! Man, this game is just so like cute and simple and just like works. I'm really impressed by it so far. I'd much rather have, like, a small, uniquely designed game like this than a big open world one where you just, I don't know, a bloated mess where you just do too much. It's like, oh my god, there's like a hundred hours of gameplay. It's like, I, I don't really want a hundred hours. I'd like, like, maybe ten, maybe five, ten. I do wonder how long the game is in its entirety. I'll probably look it up. Because I, I think I do want to finish this. The world is also awesome and detailed. Yeah, for sure. 
Maybe I'm writing a song about the outside world. Yeah, it's super detailed. Uh, it looks great. It's what it controls are fun. I got Clementine's notebook. Cool. Agreed. I like this interactive solo gameplay. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't... Yeah, like, my head, right, from other game design was like, oh, we have to find the notebooks. And then I'll find, like, a notebook every quarter of the game. Nope, there we go. There's the second notebook right now. Like, in Assassin's Creed, it'd be like, we have to find the four notebooks. And then 20 hours later, you're like, thank God we have the, f the second notebook. Who's a boozer? Yeah, I always make the joke to landlords when they ask about pets. Oh, that, that you need to pay for <laughs> the pets, but not the um, not the humans. Yeah, humans would do more damage. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Huh? Is it the cats? Are the cats in charge of the world? The rich will go to have will go to hell, and the cats will inherit the earth. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. We must find more. We must find more. For me, it depends on the world. 100 plus hours in Skyrim or Horizon Zero Dawn? Gimme. See, Horizon Zero Dawn, though, I mean, I, it, it's not even 100 hours. I think the full game, if you did everything, it's like, what, 50? But And when I played it from beginning to end, as far as, like, the story, it was, like, 15 hours. I just went through the story in like 15 hours. To me, that was perfect. I didn't get bored. I didn't, my, my sense of wonder and like, ooh, wow, look at this. And then Discovery wasn't gone by the end when a lot of open world games are. Like Skyrim, I never really played Skyrim, but I could have seen that also being eventually like, kind of like, eh. But like, I'm like that with GTA. Like the story is just so long. It's like, who cares? Emery. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. What is this, Alita Battle Angel? <gasps> Two, I gotta look for that logo. Oh, I see another one over there. There it is on that side. Let's go get it. I'm a curious cat. I bet that's where this game came from. It's like a cat's curious. He goes around, he does stuff. What's going on over here, bud? You all right? I do love knitting. So far I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. <laughs> it's something to do. If you bring some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me. Could I make this cat a poncho? Electric cable for the poncho cat? You, drink energy drink, make more. I heard that the Barterman is looking for stuff like that. All right, gotta find somebody named Barterman. Oh, let's go give the music sheets to that guy. Curiosity killed the cat, hopefully not. The cat's gonna die in the end, you know it. And also, I can take a nap with him. Yes. All right, you. I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. You, go. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. I was going to say that too, JJ. It does sound like SpongeBob. Under the ocean, SpongeBob and his friends gather to make silly jokes. <laughs> Squidward. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. I like that. Uh, you know, I'm going to save the other song. Can I get him to play him again? I will practice. You think you can find more? All right, I will find more for you. And sit up on here. Perfect. That was pretty good. Thank you. All right, we're off on adventures. <laughs> Run. Run. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Ah, ah, help! Help! Oh God! Oh! Oh God! Boop, boop, boop. Electrical cable. I would like that, please. Hello, I'm a merchant of the market. I'll give you something. I'll give you something in exchange. It's simple as that. 
This is a set of electric cable, the best on the market. I'll exchange it for a super spirit detergent. All right. Sweet. I got electrical cable. And another music sheet. Fuck yeah. I just want the music sheet. It'll cost you one energy can drink can. Here you go. Ah, now we're buying stuff. All right, hang on. I want to go give that cable to the lady and, and see if I can get a little kitty poncho. If I can get a little cat poncho, this is probably the best game I've played all year. Maybe in my life? I don't know. There's a lot of good games, but definitely cat poncho puts it up pretty high. Oh, translate. What, do you, what are you? Grandma's clothing. How Can you be old? Do you rust eventually? Hey, little one. I can make you something like a poncho. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Yes! 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 Make me a kitty poncho! Oh. Here you go, little one. It'll suit you well. How do I... How do I put on my kitty cat poncho? Poncho? Show 2B12. This looks really warm. Perfect for a child robot. Oh, you saying I can't wear it? Examine. I can't wear the little poncho. Ah, uh, my life. My life, it's ruined. Although I think I need to give it to like a child robot to keep them warm. So it'll go to a good cause. She said it will suit me. She said it will suit me. What a what a fucking fr no. No, I'm not happy about this. Hang on, I'm going to Google. Can the cat wear um wear poncho in stray? How to use the poncho? This page contains spoilers. The bit of the grandma gives you the poncho. You get the wire, you get the cable. You go there, you do the thing. There you go, little one. It'll suit you. What to do with the poncho? Sadly, the poncho isn't for you and cannot be worn. All right. Look, it's techie. I know I gave you some shit before for refunding the game. I know I was like, oh, man, you you know, you got to play it. You got to enjoy the sad kitty noises. But now I'm thinking about it. Somebody better mod that into the game. I'm just saying. All right, look, someone's going to do this. Somebody mod in Kitty Cat Poncho, please. Anyone who's played Stray knows that we want a Kitty Cat Poncho. All right? Make it happen. I'll download that immediately. Let's go. Thank you.